What's up everyone and welcome to the Bangkok tour. We've got a tour reaction on the channel today and I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. So we're going to be looking at everything that's new in the Bangkok tour. We're going to be looking at the packs. We're going to be looking at the pipes. Um, is Daisy going to have a coin box? Well, we'll soon find out. Um, it's going to be an exciting time. So come along for the ride and uh, make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Uh, like and subscribe for the ACR game plan, which is coming out this weekend. Um, so stay tuned. All right, here we go. Ooh, we've got some interesting uh, courses for the ranked cup. Okay, it's going to be interesting. We've already got a Bangkok Rush RT, I see. And the ranking results, guys. Just want to monologue about this for a second. The ranked cup was pretty rough this past uh, week. Uh, many of us had the same people in our ranks. So I think it was Gorilla, Rose, uh, Joss, uh, a whole bunch of different people were, and everyone's ranked. And um, I got massively sleeping on both my free-to-play account and my main account. Uh, I was sitting in second last night. I'm not expecting to flash. I think it was fourth place last time I checked. Let's take a look. And it's sixth place, guys. I mean, I'm in two minds. I'm kind of glad that I've tiered down in a way because um, staying in tier 80 long term is probably not really feasible for making sure I'm getting the main, main rewards. Um, but I was sitting in second place pretty comfortably last night, so it's a bit gutting. But we got some rubies, we got some coins, we got some high-end tickets. So, you know, we're going to be happy with that. So here we go, yeah, I think everyone had Jaws, Chavez, Gorilla, Rose, all, all of these guys were in everyone's um, rank. So, bit of a challenging week. Who knows what's going to happen going forward, but I have a theory about this. I think that, um, I, you know, I've heard um, Kevin Garrett talk on his channel about um, your, you know, your scores and how you can sandbag and things like that. It's all pretty speculative um, and is anecdotal based on evidence that people see on their own accounts. I think what I've seen and what's been quite interesting is moving from the uh, the account that's only 18 months old to now this account, which is um, a day one account, I am suddenly noticing how much more challenging ranked is. And I see that it doesn't matter if you're tier 79 or tier 76 or something else, it seems that older accounts tend to be getting these uh, ranked opponents. So I wonder if there's some form of cutoff that Nintendo have where they uh, put, you know, these players into more older um, accounts which maybe have more inventory or something like that. Um, at the end of the day, guys, it's speculative, but I'm, I'm really hoping that ranked could be better going forward because it's it's, it's really quite a challenge when, um, yeah, when you, when you end up getting dropped down this much in the end. But hey, we will live to fight another day. I didn't spend any tickets, so it's not the end of the world. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the news. And first up, we've got expiring at the end of the store, Metropolitan Fest. Okay, so we're expecting a continuation of Metropolitan Fest. What that contains, I'm not sure. There's been uh, an image that didn't have much information from, uh, from Nintendo, which included multiple gold pipes. So it could be multiple gold pipes, this tour, which could be quite cool, in the token shop. Um, let's go ahead and check it out and see what's, uh, what this is all about. Okay, the Metropolitan Fest will continue on into the Bangkok tour. Here we go. There will be three golden pipes. Awesome. Which can only be fired once and guarantee either a high-end driver cart or glider available in the token shop. Collect event tokens and get high-end items. What's more, a point cap for high-end drivers. And level boost tickets of all kinds will be included as well. This is great, guys. So already, it sounds like we're getting, would that be seven decent high-end um, rewards in the token shop? That's going to be worth it. I think last tour was, you know, not a great token shop, and I didn't even bother draining the whole pipe. Uh, it just wasn't worth my time. Um, let's have a look. What's next? Daily are plenty events. Okay, so during the Bangkok tour each day, we'll see either the Coins of Plenty event or the Tokens of Plenty event. And very nice. What's more, the Coins of Plenty event will be gradually upgraded as the tour nears its end. Ah, I think we've had this before. If you participate every day, you can get over 20,000 coins. Let's go. Play every day and get lots of tokens and coins. This is great, guys. We need tokens. We need coins um, to get the value out of um, these shops. Uh, fire a maximum of 10 type, 
times. Ooh, so we're going straight into some kind of pipe here. Gold carts and gliders pipe. So we know this from the tour trailer that there was going to be some form of gold pipe. It didn't look super valuable in terms of the items there. So let's take a look. The gold carts and gliders pipe, which can only be fired up to 10 times. I mean, 10 singles or 10... 10 pulls, 10, 10 pulls, not sure, uh, will be available during this tour. The, this pipe contains only spotlight high-end carts and gliders. Okay, so I think this might be similar to the one that we had with the Yoshis in it, but we'll find out soon. And here it is right here. Here we go. So, okay, fire mix. Oh, yeah, so it's a 10 pipe. Okay, so let's take a look. The gold zucchini debuts, gold carts and gliders are here. So let's have a quick chat about this pipe, guys. It's an interesting one. We've got this new zucchini cart. We'll take a look at its courses in a moment. But a lot of these gold uh, carts are not really worth all that much um, in, you know, 2022. Um, we've got the gold glider, which has good value. We've got the gold tanuki, which is okay. Gold swooper used to be great back in the day, not so much anymore. Gold and silver hearts is okay. And the gold pink, uh, gold... Penguin wingtip is pretty average. So let's take a look at the gold zucchini and see what its starting value is like. Okay, so here we go. So we've got two Bangkok rushes. Bangkok rush, Bangkok rush R. We've got Choco Island 1R. RMX Vanilla Lake 1. Cool, so we've got the Vanilla Lakes back, which we saw in the trailer. Uh, Mario's Circuit 2RT. Choco Island 1, which are the level 3 unlocks, and then we've got two level 6 unlocks, which are RMX Vanilla Lake 1R and Calamaro Desert 2RT. Not, it's a bit disappointing to see no new value in terms of new courses, so I don't know how valuable that's going to be outside of these two new city courses. I would say proceed with caution with investing in this, um, but you know, hey, if you've got 45 rubies to spend guys it could be um, it could be a good item to have I would actually recommend doing singles on this pipe because you know let's say that gold zucchini is the third item in the pipe right then you might only spend 15 rubies to get the item so it might be much more worth it than doing a 10 pull and getting out a whole bunch of items which you may or may not use it just really depends on where these items fit in your inventory um, but interesting pipe much better than a 50 pipe that with no spotlights or one spotlight um, so good stuff Nintendo well done on this all right here we go the Bangkok Cock start tour starts now. I'm gonna skip this one and we're gonna go straight to pipe one because we don't want to spoil what the uh, driver skill is. So let's go ahead and check out the first pipe. Daisy tie dress is in the spotlight, and you gotta love the originality on the on the name of Daisy, right? All right, here we go. So we've got a three spotlight pipe. So it's a bit of a rough pipe in terms of the spotlights. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a uh, nine percenter. Let's take a look at the details here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's only a 6% pipe, right? So, bit rough. It's really a bit rough, guys. Um, but let's take a look at these items. And um, I'm just gonna turn the music on while we're here. Gotta have some music, right? All right, there we go, that's much better. Okay, where were we? We're in the pipe, so let's check this out. Daisy tie dress, the tuk tuk cart, and the red and gold umbrella glider. Uh, this glider name's interesting. I, I would have thought it would be a lot more of an interesting name. Um, some people were saying like Thai parasol or something like that. Red and gold umbrella, okay. And interesting, it's got the fire flowers on it, but it's got the lightning plus skill, right? So, you know, I mean, not that we have a glider skill which is fire flower, but. You know, you, you, it's kind of hard to tell. I feel like Nintendo are being a bit tricky with these um, skills. So we'll see what Daisy's skill is shortly. Um, but here we go, Lightning Plus. I like Lightning Plus gliders. We've got Sunset Wilds T, Coconut Mall. Okay, this is a bit more interesting. Ba two Bangkok Rush tracks. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's gonna happen in these tours. Choco Island 1R, Sunset Wilds, Coconut Mall R, Bangkok Rush, and Coconut Mall T. Not great seeing that one of the level six unlocks is another Bangkok Rush um, track that kind of reduces the value, but you know, who knows, this glider could be valuable in the future. So, you know, proceed with caution and in investing, but you know, could be value in the, valuable in the future. Okay, we've got the Tuk Tuk Cart with Dash Panel Plus. It's got uh, Bangkok Rush, the RT version and the T version. We've got Cheap Cheap Island, Cheap Cheap Lagoon T, Choco Island 1, Cheap Cheap Island T, 
and Bangkok Rush R and then Coconut Malt Tea for the level 8 unlock. So it's, yeah, it's okay starting value. It looks like quite a bit of overlap with the yellow off-roader and the, um, the combo cruiser um, plus a whole bunch of cities. So based on that starting value, it's not great. But you know, again, who knows what it could have in the future. Okay guys, moment of truth. What is she gonna have? Uh, I mean, it's a tough one. In terms of skill, she, people have been saying coin box. I kind of doubt that, um, but at the same time, it has been six tours, but I think it really devalues the plus skill drivers we've got if we get more and more. So I'm hoping it's not a plus skill. I'm hoping it's something like fire flower, but I know that we've already had a lot of daisies with a lot of uh, non plus skills and we've got no daisy coin box. So here we go guys, what is it gonna be? Uh, what? <laughs> this is crazy, like, man. But I mean, between uh, gold me, the coin box, question, question mark block me, and Yoshi gold egg, like, and now Daisy Tidress, way way too many coin boxes in this game now guys it's uh it's getting to the point where there's not really much point in pulling for a non plus skill driver at all in fact i don't think i will be investing in any non plus skill driver and in fact what this means is it really pushes the community into a bit of a corner and especially the acr um, and competitive scene uh, because you don't really have much choice you know maybe you've got four tickets left you were thinking about taking Pinja to level six or something, well now you're kind of forced to, you know, really rethink that because now we've got another coin box in the game, which could have some exclusive value. So let's go check out her starting tracks. This is this is getting really interesting, guys. So, oh, that's pretty rough, but not surprising. We've got three Bangkok rushes for a start. We've got Sunset Wilds R, which might be a Yoshi Goldie track. I'll need to check that, or it could be Kamek. We've got Coconut Mall. I think there was a, a non-coin box track. It had Pinja and uh, Charging Chuck, so Lucky Seven and Giant Banana. We've got Sunset Wilds T, which I think is a Yellow Pit Crew Toad and Yoshi Gold Egg track, so Giant Banana and Coin Box. We've got Cheap Cheap Island T, which was a Boom Box track without any coin box. So I think that might be the first coin box there. Um, Bangkok Rush T. And we've got Coconut Mall R, which is Yoshi Goldie track. So we got, might be getting quite a bit of overlap here. And then we've got Calamari Desert 2 RT. I'm not so sure on that track. I mean, it's a level eight unlock. So you know, who's gonna, I don't know how many people will be taking uh, her to level eight, but guys, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. We've got more coin box in the game. Um, and you can see how I've only got um, 207 rubies. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, why don't we just do a YOLO tether right now, see if we can get lucky, see what happens. Let's just go and do it guys and see what happens. Alright, it's a green, okay. To be expected in a 6% pipe, really not great odds guys, um, but you know, we've got to get in there and have some fun, right? Got dry bones, Bit of flower glider. Cheap Charger, Hammer Bro, Birdo Light Blue, Cooper Trooper, Lemmy, Baby Peach. Okay, so pretty average first dinner, right? Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I got rubies for a couple more pulls, so you know we'll we'll do that. Um, later on down the track, but um, let's carry on with the tour reaction. So heading back to the news, we've got the Bangkok tour starts now. Collect Grand Stars, Ruddy Ra, Roy, wow, Rigby Dasher again, interesting, interesting. I feel sorry for anyone that took Rigby Dasher to level 8, probably was a little bit short-sighted, um, being that we're going to get Rigby Dasher every second gold pass for the rest of the year. Uh, yeah, so, okay, Daisy, Flower Glider, cool, cool, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Um, all Cup Ranking Badges, so we've got Daisy, Tie Dress on the ACR badge, a very nice badge. Shout out to all the Daisy fans this tour. Um, and uh, I want to make a special shout out to my friend Flo, um, who 
might be going for ACR this tour and um, we'll see what happens with his loadouts but uh, make sure you follow along to see how he goes and what his plan is to to go after that uh, yeah and we got the coin box spoiler here which is why we skipped that pipe let's take a look now at the next thing which is tokens so it looks like we're getting tokens from making people crash okay so giant banana is going to be your best friend this tour and lucky seven is going to be helpful too and we've got those three token shop pipes moving right along we've got the new me suit which we saw in the trailer which is the chain chomp me racing suit uh not sure about skill guys i'm thinking maybe it's going to be gigabomb so let's take a look a double bob -ombs. okay yep cool not not massive surprise um very limited starting value with these me suits uh and i'm not really buying all of these um, these days so we'll see what happens oh we've got the golden wings pack that is very nice only one item in a 90 ruby pack which usually yeah i would not recommend but um, golden wings has a massive amount of value so you know could be a pretty pretty good pack to go for build a mario on the other hand yeah, probably avoid that one. Then we've got, ooh, this one's interesting. So we've got Captain Toad and the Yellow Off-Roader. Captain Toad doesn't have that much value, but uh, Yellow Off-Roader has massive value. So could be worth it. Could be worth it, especially if you want Captain Toad as a collectible. Let's carry on. All right, so we've got the 10 driver point boost tickets. Cool, just pull the token pipe, guys. Uh, we've got the value pack and i think that's pretty much it okay so we're done with the news guys so next up let's go and check out what new items we have so firstly going to the drivers and we've got daisy tie dress which we already saw we've got the chain chomp me suit and what else have we got i think that's it for the drivers okay so just really the one new driver and one new me suit this tour then we're looking at the carts Okay, so we've got, yep, the gold zucchini, and we've got the tuk-tuk, and here, this is going to be the interesting one. What is it going to be called? I think it's going to be like something to do with surf or land cruiser or something. Tropical truck. <laughs> that is funny. Tropical truck. Okay, I, I think this thing looks flipping cool. Probably has pretty good hitbox. Could be quite valuable, guys, and I'd imagine this is going to be in the second pipe. So we'll find out later when we look at the data mining. So we've got Bangkok Rush T, Sunset Wilds, Wario Shipyard R, that could be a good course there, Coconut Mall, Cheap Cheap Lagoon, Sunset Wilds R, Calamari Desert 2RT, Wario Shipyard T, and Coconut Mall R. Interesting, could be quite a valuable card, could be the one to watch from this tour. And yeah, there are no other ones in the cards. Let's go check out the gliders. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got the brand new one there. And that's it. All right, cool. So we've checked out the carts, the drivers and the uh, gliders, of course. Um, let's carry on and now let's go ahead and look at the shop. Okay, so we've already seen the packs. We've got the Me Racing Suit shop with the Chain Chomp Me Racing Suit with the 30% discount. We've got the, uh, the Pastry Chef Me Racing Suit back. Um, again for 100 rubies and there is the lineup okay moving right along to the token shop uh, there we got got the pipes there we got the token shop and here we go that is looking beautiful right guys um they've reduced the amount of coins only 2500 coins which makes sense when they give us more value in other parts of the pipe but you know it's still a bit gutting we got some uh, rubies there um, and they've actually reduced the cost of them, which is good because making opponents crash can be a bit challenging. We've got the standard token shop pipes. And there we go. Look at all those high ends. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, that's going to be really key for people going for ACR this tour as well. Um, check it out. Okay. We've got the daily selects. Nothing really of interest to me there today. And then we've got the tier shop. So we've got Red Cooper free running. We've got the zucchini. And we've got the cheap sheep masks. Cheap sheep masks is a pretty good one. Um, it could be on its way to level seven, so I might need to spend the 10,000 coins there this tour. We've also got the standard uh, row of tickets there. All right, that's the shop, pretty standard. Let's go and check out the tour gifts. OK, 
Okay, so we've got Daisy. We've got 25 rubies on that first row for gold pass users. 5,000 coins there, it's very nice. Another 5,000 there. Some super tickets, just one of each, I think in this case, yeah. Um, Daisy Glider, here we go. Driver cut and glider skill up tickets. The Red Bee Dasher and two more glider tickets. All right, guys, so looking pretty good on the uh, high-end tickets this tour. Could be pretty fantastic for people who've got gold pass. Let's go check out the uh, premium challenges and see what's in there. Could be quite good for premium challenge purchase people as well. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, it is, in fact, Black Birdo. I think um, that was predicted by Ryan from Tour de, Tour de Cart. So shout out to Tour de Cart. Make sure you check out their YouTube channel. Um, good job for predicting it, man. Um, that is, in fact, Black Birdo. So hopefully you can finally get her. We've got a glider ticket. Black Shy Guy, the Light Blue Turbo Birdo, and the Wario Wing. I can never remember which one it is. Might be the Waluigi Wing. Uh, Wario Wing. There we go. Okay, let's go and check out the challenges. So we've got the standard tour challenges. Nothing really of interest there. Tour challenges 2 will come out. We've got the multiplayer challenges with 5 rubies. Pretty standard stuff. And the tour points challenge. So 3,000 coins on this card. And uh, 9 rubies. And in this card we've got 9 rubies. We've got 3,000 coins. And we've got two high-end tickets nice so good value in there so uh, and there are also um, cart tickets which can be quite useful we've got a new gold challenges pretty standard stuff taking out penguins that's gonna be fun so a bit of an ice themed tour this tour and we've got new expert challenges this is interesting so let's take a look at these ones interesting land five hits with spiny shells yeah it shouldn't be too challenging 100 combo, not too hard if you know how to drift. This one is rough, guys. A lot of people really struggle with this challenge. It takes a long time. Get first place a total of 30 times in standard races or gold races. It's not talking top three. It's not talking, you know, participate in races 30 times. It's talking get first place. So if you struggle with, you know, if you struggle with uh, multiplayer and getting first, then you're going to want to start on this ASAP, maybe this tour, because um, that can be really challenging. All right, guys, and that is it for the challenges. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and check out the new courses. So Bangkok Rush, what's it going to look like? Let's take a look. Let's have some fun and let's see what got buffed and ranked this week. So first up. We've got Pinja, we've got Silvery uh, Me Racing Suit, and we've got the new Daisy Tie Dress. Okay, so I'm going to be racing with Pinja. We've got the Coconut one, makes sense, it's a good theme actually. Um, we've got the Warrior Dragon, which is going to be good for people. Ooh, the good old Rose Queen got a buff here, that is fantastic. Um, definitely going for a sparkly money theme this tour. Um, got the new tuk tuk so geez it's gonna be a bit rough for me um i'm gonna go with the orange streamliner golden wings back again and ranked this thing just goes from strength to strength guys this is absolutely insane and it got two bangkoks that is absolutely fantastic you can see here it got um two berlins and now it's got two bangkoks so it's it's continuing to get insane value um same with the wonderful wings absolutely fantastic value in this case it got one so might have more of that long-term lasting value golden wings is sun setting right so it's going to get some of that um nitro value now uh, with city courses that that don't mean a lot long term never oil paper uh, interesting buff there really interesting let's take a look at all the courses in ranked this week and then we'll go ahead and do a bit race on bangkok rush so we've got cheap cheap lagoon r I'm really hoping Luigi Vacation got a buff here this tour. He is here in the pipe, um, so I'm hoping so. But um, maybe Volendam, Rosalina gets it. Maybe this new uh, Daisy, we're about to find out. So I'm just hoping that we're not stuck with really old loadouts that um, are at a low level on my uh, newer account. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, okay, so this is a Peach Vacation course. So I wasn't sure which one it was. 
Um, on my other account, you know, Peach Vacation's only level three, so that's gonna be a bit challenging, but there's heaps of different options here. Oh, yeah. We've got Peach Vacation, I've got the Cucumber at level eight, and Triple Capped. And then we've got the Gold Glider. Cheap Sheep Mask is in there too. Got the Blue Flower Glider, heaps of great options, guys. This is gonna be my loadout there. And then we've got Bangkok Rush RT. All right, so we've got Yoshi Gold Egg in ranked. This is uh, interesting, interesting news for him. And you can see that on this account here, uh, all the tickets on this account have gone to Golden Egg Racing Suit. So uh, Yoshi Gold Egg is still at level one. Uh, only just got Rosalina Chef. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty rough. And then we, you know, then you've got to make decisions about do I invest in this one that's older or this one that's newer. So. I think a lot of people are going to be pulling for Daisy Tidris and uh, taking her up to a high level. It, it makes sense, this talk. Um, Alright, so I'm going to be going with, uh, I guess, I guess build a Mario at this stage. And then we've got the yellow off-roader, gotta love it, and the silver Surfmaster. So some, some interesting and really good value carts and gliders there. Hopefully um, your loadout's looking just as good. Let's go ahead and take a look at ranked week two and then we'll go and do some races. So Bangkok Rush R. We got Gold Me. I'm thinking that it must be, uh, is this a buff or is this? Oh yeah, it is in fact a buff. So Gold Me got two Bangkoks. Interesting, so his gold, uh, his uh, ranked run continues. Gold Me Racing Suit. We've got the yellow off-roader double feature. Might be time to take that up higher, guys. Um, might seem to be looking at taking that to level seven or something like that. Let's see how we go. And then we've got a few different options here. Gold crane, a really good old value. And then we've also got the uh, record setter, which got just the one Bangkok tour, uh, track the store. But some great other options in there, like the um, candlelight flight, 8-bit mushroom, yeah, some, some awesome options there. Okay, so that's gonna be my loadout. We've got Sunset Wilds T with Yoshi Gold Egg. We've got, no, it's not a yellow pit crew toad track. Okay, it's a painter track actually, but we've got Yoshi Gold Egg, Painter Luigi, Coin Box Racing Me, uh, with a question mark block racing me. We've got, yeah, look at this. This is probably a, is that a, yeah. This here is an example of a pipe uh, boost, spotlight boost. So you can see she doesn't actually have Sunset Wilds T, but she does here in her favored courses. Favored becomes, goes from second shelf up to third shelf when someone gets a pipe boost. So you can see that little green pipe in the corner. That's a clue that someone might be pipe boosted. So I think for me, I'm gonna be going with Black Yoshi. And then I'm gonna be going with, man, my, my rank loadouts are pretty rough this tour. Um, the Dark Hop Rod, and then Level H Triple Capped Dragon Wings. So, <laughs> interesting loadout there for sure. Okay, then we got Bangkok Rush Tier, and it looks like Luigi Vacation has got a buff here. Um, not Cheap Sheep Island, which is what I wanted, and we'll check him out in a second because I'm uh, keen to see that. But we've got Gold Me Racing Suit double feature here in second week. We've got the jukebox buggy, which might be time to double cap that thing. And we've got the golden wings, man. It's a massive, massive value this tour. Let's go check out Luigi Vacation. I was hoping for some decent buffs this tour with him on some non-city courses. So let's take a look. And we've got Bangkok Rush T. That's it, guys. Wow, I was really hoping for something better. Um, hopefully that means good things for his value in the future, not not, not worse things. Um, but yeah, it should be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and do our race on Bangkok Rush with some giant bananas. Here we go, guys. Oh, I love that sunset, like, oh, that looks amazing with the sun like that. I gotta love the big band jazz. Uh, as a musician myself, oh, that's cool, you can drive up the uh, the boats. I don't know, if you're from Thailand, let me know what these boats are called. I have no idea, I've never been to Thailand before, I'd love to go. Well, this feels kind of like Singapore, I guess. 
like very much as directly oh this is this is cool you can obviously get up on the roof too but i didn't quite make it oh and we're going up the stairs okay interesting this is cool guys there's multiple pathways again so it's going to be interesting trying to figure out what the best pathways are we're back around to the start now let's go over to the left this time and just check out the course We've got some shy guys on boats <laughs> shout out to shy guy uh shy guy cart Okay, let's see if I can get up on the roof this time. Ah! Oh, it's harder than it looks, guys. We're kind of coming at it from an angle. Okay, let's see what happens down here. I'm gonna go right this time. Okay, so it's got a couple more coins, so it might be a more optimal route to go. really nice course guys I absolutely love the sunset look um, really fun like quite interactive Nintendo's doing this thing where every course has multiple routes so it makes it quite interesting when you think about giant banana and coin box and which one might be uh, have more value or might be more effective on the course um, interesting interesting um, kind of keen to check out this RT course because it could be quite different so let's go ahead and check that out as well I'm gonna go again with uh, Chef Rosalina, just for the fun. Here we go. All right, get some more giant bananas, guys. already it feels entirely different I don't even know where we are compared to the first course oh yeah we're kind of in that boat section now feel like an entirely different experience and make for an interesting game and this will definitely be a high action count track um, combination of a lot of plus skill drivers and uh, yeah uh, a lot of tricks once those bots have been grinded down of course right so they uh, behave themselves Okay guys, we are finished with that course. Really interesting, I, I like it, it's uh, different. It's a shame we don't get these courses regularly, so make the most of it and have fun with these courses while we do have them this tour and uh, grind out your experience. Uh, finish as many, as many rounds of the courses that you can. All right, so there we go. So there is the, uh, there is the track. So we're just gonna check out um, one or two more things. We're gonna go check out the data mining in a moment. So. If you're not keen on spoilers, then maybe tune out to the video for a couple minutes, go take a bathroom break. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the, the data mining. Ooh, I already see we've got someone who might be, might have some good loadouts in our ranked. Should be interesting. Maybe it might be an easier week now that I've teared down. We'll see, we'll have to see what happens. Right, so let's go and check out Discord. Let's uh, go and check out the data mining section. And I'm on the Cart Life server here. Here we go. All right, where does it start? Okay, Bangkok Tour data mining. Here we go. Yep, and she she definitely has coin box. We can confirm that. 
Uh, week two pipe, here we go. We've got the brothers. We've got Sunshine Mario and Luigi Vacation, a very, very cool pipe. I think that's gonna be really great for people who uh, don't have these uh, drivers and want to invest, especially Luigi Vacation. Then we've got a special 50 Daisy pipe. That is fantastic, look at that. You gotta love the, the symmetry across these Daisy facial expressions. Um, but yeah, that, for Daisy fans, it's gonna be great. Uh, not a lot of sk uh, plus skills in there when you've got your coin box Daisy in the in the main week one pipe. So it should be interesting to see who's pulling there. Um, special shout out to Draco. 655 uh, he might be pulling that pipe because he is definitely um, as part of his mushroom legacy into Daisy So we'll see what happens there We've got the extra 10 special pipe, which we've looked at the uh, chain chop me We've got the packs that we've already looked at and here we go week two packs Okay, so we've got the flame flyer gold shy guy with the gold crane Not really great value there guys. So Probably better value in the uh, in, in in the week one packs. I would say I would rate the golden wings the, the best pack. The second best would be the yellow off roader. Um, then maybe this gold shy guy one would be the third best one. But yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting. Um, ooh, what is this? Update info. Okay, so this will be a, a banner that they've data mined from this tour. So if it's been added, then what that means is there will be an update this tour. Um, I know that they are planning on phasing out uh, older versions of iOS. So I think this one might be not really too much of interest. It might be just very much a maintenance, uh, you know, and, and some people's phones are not, not being compatible anymore. However, we did in the last tour have uh, data mining for the battle mode. So you never know, guys. It could be a, a really, really interesting um, thing to see uh, what happens in the next uh, few days in terms of an update. Enjoy. Have some wine, pad tie, and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. I'll, I'll take you up on the wine. And uh, pad thai has got to be one of my favorite foods. So got to love Thai food, especially a nice curry. Let's look at some of the cups that are coming up and the tracks in those cups. And then we'll give the tour a rating and we'll say farewell, guys. So we've got Rosalina's Ice Wheel. We've got Luigi's Mansion Tea Back, Choco Island 1T, Cheap Cheap Island R, Bangkok Rush T. Okay, Calamari Desert 2 RT. Actually, I might, might go check out those Cheap Cheap Island tracks and see um, who's on those tracks. It should be interesting. Uh, because we've had some some interesting buffs there with Daisy um, So let's check out Sunset Wilds T here Yeah, so there you go. There's the overlap with Yoshi Gold League there Then we've got Cheap Cheap Island T, which is the uh, Is that a gold me track? Or is that a me cut boost? No, it is a Cheap Cheap Island T. It is a Go Me Racing Suit. Okay, so we've got a lot of plus skill overlap on this track, and we've got the new Daisy. So immediately it kind of reduces her value. Um, but, you know, who knows what her value might be in the future. Um, so that's Coconut Mall. So we looked at that one too. So, oh, we've, we've got a buff here for uh, Rosalina Chef, where she's getting Cheap Cheap Island. Oh, she's got... Wow. Uh, five new tracks? Six new tracks. That's pretty insane. Um, I know that she only had city tracks last tour, so that's really interesting um, to see how that's shaping up. Choco Island 1R, Rosalina's Ice World T, Cheap Shoot Island R, Coconut Mall, Coconut Mall R, and Bangkok Brush RT. So five uh, potentially good value tracks there for her. We'll have to have a look and see what the overlaps on some of those tracks might be. Um, but here we've also got the coin box now. So, you know, you've now <laughs> take your pick. Do you want giant banana? Do you want lucky seven? Do you want coin box uh, or something else? Because you've got every option imaginable there. Uh, Wario Shipyard, not really too much of interest going on there. Bangkok Rush R, we have Choco Island 1R. Okay, so, yeah. Look at this guys, it's insane. You've got Lucky Seven, you've got 
Boomerang, you've got Triple Bananas, Giant Banana, Lucky Seven, Coin Box, Giant Banana. It's 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 pretty insane, guys. It's uh, pretty insane what's going on. Let's go check out Cheap Cheap Lagoon. Okay. So this is what I feared, guys, is, is there's no buffs on the course that you kind of want the buff on, which is this old course. Uh, but here we are, I'm still stuck with, you know, a super. Uh, maybe, who knows, maybe I need to be using uh, Baby Peach with the bubble. It's interesting, interesting. Um, Rosalina's Ice World Tea. Ooh, and that's, that is a really, really good buff for, uh, for Rosalina Chef. Because um, previously, the only plus skill item on here, you can see PGP here, uh, it needs to go to level 8. And this is one of the best level 8 unlocks in the game. But it just got reduced in value because we've now got Giant Banana on the course as well. So, interesting. Very interesting. We've got Luigi's Mansion R. Not really too much to report there. Remix Vanilla Lake 1T. Okay, not too much to say there. Sunset Wilds which is a Kamek track, which still looks to be an exclusive coin box track, but some Lucky 7 overlap there with Luigi Classic. Mario Shipyard T, not really much to report there. Let's just go back over here. Chocolate Island 1, which is a Gold Me track. This is, this is crazy. It's all the, all, all the, all the Mees. Coconut malt tea. Yep, not really too much to report there. Barrow Shipyard R. Same as it was, I believe. Doesn't look like there's anything that's been buffed there. Um, so that's it. Well, tea. We did check that one. Mario Circuit 2 RT. Okay. Which is a gold free running Cooper. We did check that one. Okay. I think we're done guys um, but yeah some, some some really interesting stuff that's happening there with a lot of overlap and I think you know just to share my thoughts on that I think the the more plus skills we have in the game um, the more it devalues the the items and it means that there's, there's not really much point in investing you know I think now I would love to invest in Rosalina uh, chef i'd love to invest in pinja but it really ties my hands on what i can invest in when there's so many important boomerang and coin box drivers which are going to make your account competitive um, so it's, it's really interesting i think it gives the people what they want but it's almost too much of a good thing so really interesting stuff guys all right guys we're going to wrap the video up there i hope you have a fantastic tour i think i'd rate this tour so far i'm going to say a a solid eight and a half out of ten i think there's a great token shop pipe we've got a plus skill driver with a you know average odds pipe um we've got some really interesting cool new tracks we've got some returning uh, retro tracks which are looking really cool um, we've got lots of lots of buffs and, and interesting stuff so definitely stay tuned to the channel we're going to be covering all of this in our acr game plan episode um, make sure you sh uh, you check that out and uh, make sure to like and subscribe um, to the channel um, we are growing as a channel um, help me get to a thousand subscribers that would be absolutely incredible if we could uh, make that goal um, but thanks for watching and have a great tour everyone see you later